Everything that I'm doing now is for my community. Giving everyone the tools that I can share into their lives. If you are passionate about something, you can do anything. And to be able to give back and help others, that's what it's all about. Food is one of the best ways to connect with your community, with your friends, with your family, with yourself. You're able to make these connections that you're not thinking about through the utilitarian act of cooking. Because we have to do it to survive. But it's so much more than that. I love that you can be connected by the mutual love of a dish. On my mom's side, there's a family history of cooking well. I was cooking throughout my childhood because it was a requirement, but I didn't realize that I could cook until I got to college. In high school, all I wanted to do was leave Hawaii. I was like, gotta get out of here. I'm gonna go to California. And the minute I got there, I was like, ooh, why did I wanna leave so bad? Like, Hawaii is so beautiful. And the thing that I missed the most was the food. I just couldn't find those flavors outside of cooking for myself. So I cooked a lot when I lived in California. So when I was growing up, I, I swear you only made it for me for like school trips. <laughs> um, or parties. You yeah, for yeah, parties. yeah, parties. But it wasn't like something you just made on like a random Wednesday. Oh no, well, if you plan ahead. <laughs> My mom makes the best mochiko chicken ever. And for her, the recipes weren't necessarily passed on so much as she learned by watching. Nobody wrote anything down. So for instance, my great grandparents had this famous coconut pie. And I wanted to recreate it, so I asked my mom for the recipe, mom asked grandma for the recipe, grandma comes back and says it's coconut and sugar. That's it. I believe it's probably coconut and sugar, but because nobody wrote down the recipes, they're all lost to us. Thank you. <laughs> Local Hawaii food is an amalgamation of Hawaii's migration history. So it's dishes from Japanese culture, Filipino culture, Chinese culture. It's like a living piece of history that we're able to kind of evolve as we go. A lot of people were putting out recipes for Hawaiian this, and it was like pineapple and something is Hawaiian. I thought, this is not Hawaiian. And there weren't any cookbooks that would bring kind of an education on what local Hawaii food is. And so after kind of kicking it around for a while, I decided I could write that book. So I wrote a book. In writing this cookbook, a lot of the recipes are family recipes, but I actually spoke to anyone I could possibly speak to about what their favorite local dish was. It was really important to get it right because I wasn't just representing myself. In a lot of ways, it felt like I was holding the weight of the entire state. You are presenting this food culture to a national or international audience. And so it was really scary in a lot of ways. I felt like I had to do my due diligence. At the end of the day, it was as much my book as it was your book. <laughs> Cooking is something that you're constantly developing the skills to be able to do. It could be scary to try something new, but I think that every piece of it is approachable when you 
find the confidence to make a dish for yourself or for your family that you didn't think you could do, that goes a long way for people to be able to make local Hawaii style food at home. It's approachable, no frills, but it's more about connecting with your culture, with different cultures within Hawaii. We have such a special food culture here and it's something worth celebrating. And I think it's really nice to share that with the rest of the world. Have you ever, have you ever seen these? Oh yeah, I remember you told me about yeah. it.